All right, so the mailman just dropped off something here for us today. Uh, this, of course, are the uh, armor plates that I mentioned in my last video. Got my plate carrier up there. And uh, let's take a look and see what we get from Spartan Armor Systems. So I took it out to inspect it just to make sure everything was as expected. Uh, this is how it comes from the factory. You got your, uh, your paper there to keep it from moving. You get a sticker. Can't have enough of those. And then, of course, uh, a brochure for the, the plates themselves. There's also information provided about the ballistic tests uh, conducted on these particular plates. This is going to be really fun one-handed. I wish I knew where my tripod was. But yeah, this is obviously the, the strike face of the plate. Uh, the other one is in there as well. I'm going to try to maneuver these around to give you a view of both without breaking the table or my foot. So I'll get both of them together here and give you a little bit of information. Um, so if you get one, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but if you buy two of them, you pretty much get one for half off, and I had planned to have two, obviously one for the back and one for the front anyway. So I went ahead and did the, the combination, get the discount, or both at the same time. Um, I ordered these about a week, week and a half ago. So with everything that's going on right now, that was a pretty quick turnaround time. Uh, these were manufactured a couple days after I placed my order, so the lead time's not that bad. Some websites right now, because of, uh, I guess, coronavirus maybe, and because of uh, the civil unrest that I mentioned before, all the rioting and protests and everything, um, some of the lead times are 8 to 10 weeks right now with AR-500 armor. And maybe I'm just not quite as patient, but I didn't want to wait that long. Spartan Armor Systems has really good reviews. Um, these particular plates are rated for up to 308. And primarily what I wanted them for was for 5.56, specifically some of the XM stuff, uh, green tips. Green tip ammo is readily available and it has a little steel core penetrator inside of it so i wanted to make sure that whatever i got could withstand 556 one of the big misconceptions is that if it stops 308 it's going to stop 556 which is false 556 is a higher velocity round which means it's going to have more penetrating power through armor plates but because of this primarily i was concerned with 556 because again you never know what these plates would be used for um, but I didn't want anything like 556 which is so common especially green tip you can buy that in bulk at your at your gun stores I wanted protection against that because you don't know who's gonna be buying that ammo you don't know if it's gonna fall into the wrong hands if it was stolen so that seemed like the most common denominator as far as a ballistic choice to stop and of course, this will stop your, your pistol rounds, your more common pistol rounds, your 9s, your 40, your 45. So it'll defeat that too. Um, I did get the regular base coat. I didn't get the anti-spalding. That was another $70. If you wanted to get trauma plates, that was another $80. Um, the trauma plates, if there's any kind of deformation in the back here, the trauma plates will absorb that and disperse it. So those would help a great deal. I'll probably get those in the future as well, but for now, this is uh, this is what I'm gonna what I'm gonna run with. They also have uh, slightly smaller size plates. They have swimmer cut, which cuts out some of this metal. That may or may not have been uh, a good option, depending on the overall weight. But I don't plan to do any real running or anything with these on. Um, so you know, I, I kind of went ahead and got the extra metal here. Um, for a little bit of added protection. So that's just kind of the close up of it. They do also send you a ballistic sheet with all the information on it for what tests were conducted um, and with the rating systems. So I definitely recommend this. These are of course steel plates and uh, so far I am very impressed with the craftsmanship and uh, let me know if you have any questions.